Hi everyone, I am Jeffy Bad, the alien, and today we are going back into the PC Game Pass with Undermine. This is a new concept I'm working on where I play random games on the Xbox Game Pass or the PC Game Pass so you don't have to. This way you get to discover some gems or maybe some stinkers. I have no idea what I'm about to play. It looks kinda like Road Legacy. Let's hop into it, shall we? Okay, so as I said before, I know nothing about this game. I've seen some screenshots. And that's it. So we'll hop right in. You, up there. Get in here immediately. Present, I have an important test for you. Arcanus, the Archmage. He seems a bit fancy, doesn't he? As you have noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. And there is another thing. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lies dormant. If we are to delve deep into the undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment. Find the blacksmith, find the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and run the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. A lot of things in here I don't understand what this means yet. But I feel like this is just going to be like... You know. Binding of Isaac and other games. So we have our attack. And we have a ranged attack. Okay, sounds good. Gold mine one. I mean, this is already more powerful than most tiny equipment. Press press to jump. Oh, we can jump. Jumping dodges enemy attack. Press left mouse to attack. Oh my god, I knew it already. I'm a pro at this. Alright, bombs. Use the R key. So, this is kinda like Bomberman. Yeah, so I'm starting to feel like this would be much funner to play. If I had started on a controller. Ooh. Phantasmolax, prone pickaxe duplicates themselves. Okay, so you get random characters, you get random items. Good luck, present. And now we're someone else. So this just keeps going, we're like a never ending twall of uh, Presence trying to find what's happening here because the Archmage asked us to. Present, you've returned. Oh, someone new. Very well. Present, I have gathered some special items that may help you in the undermine. Feel free to use the gold you mine to pay for them. They will, of course, remain company property. Not fret though, your cannery will answer the art past time in case you meet your end. Okay, so these are items we get to keep on our playthroughs. Pick up gold at a distance. Oh, that's gonna be useful, but I can't afford it. Keep the names and health of your enemies. Typically unaffordable to presents, but the mine's health plan partially covers the cost. Salt shaker. Increase the effectiveness of food. Okay. Oh, wait, so... You get to change your appearance whenever you want. Alright, that's a handy little cosmetic touch. I do appreciate it. Alright, so this feel this really feels like this should be a controller game. So give me a sec, I am gonna go get my controller. Alright, but where is it? Alright, be right back. Okay, so this will allow me to attack while keeping moving. 
And if I want to attack in a direction, I can just drop it and use the SP. Okay, this is much better. If you work the Undermine, I recommend doing that. This feels more natural. This feels more natural. Alright, alright. So I'm getting the hang of it. And this feels a little bit more intuitive. I wonder if I can beat enough of them and they will give me some form of reward. Alright, so this is where I realize my health bar in top left corner is hidden by my overlay. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so there are some spikes there. Alright, so you can't carry food with you. That's a problem because we're gonna get hungry quite often here. If they steal it, you can't get it back by hitting them. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we got a key. Alright, let me test out my... Enter the dungeon. Ranged attack melee. Kill. Don't mind me just practicing. Alright, so there's a treasure in here. Ooh, what's this? Friendly bomb blast fire projectiles. Alright, so this is gonna make bombs a little bit more useful to us. Not sure what we can do with zero bomb though. Okay. I don't think we're done here. I don't think we're done here. Or oh, maybe we are. I don't think I've explored every place in this level. And I feel like this is probably... ...a good place to... ...practice our skills. Alright, so... I don't have any keys, so... No, wait, I have a key. But I can't seem to unlock it. Because I don't have a bomb. So I feel like we need the bomb to clear the debris and then the key to open it. Which makes me sad because we have the key. Just can't do anything with it yet. Oh well. Luckily they use the same key pattern for everything in this fucking dungeon, so we get to use that at a later point. Alright, gold mine too. Well you have more Stuff for me. Okay, so you can hit multiple enemies with this. That's good. I wonder if you can hit them twice now, it brings the thing back. Alright, so... There's a key here. Hold on. This looks ominous. Okay, so... Jumping stops the fire. But I do have a new item now. What is this? In a weird change of phrase, this canary seems to outlive the miners works with. Okay, so you can find familiars. I'm still not sure what... Okay, so there are different types of items. Wait, what did I need this? Oh, Mimic. I'm just saying that was the rock we got killed by. Alright, relics, potions, blessings, curses, artifacts. 
still not finding that stone. I'm not sure what this is then. Alright, so what the hell do I have? I'm guessing it's a buff. I'm guessing it's a buff. Alright, so there are some locked doors in here. Oh, I see, so my attack do extra damage because of the stone's buff. Alright, I forgot to interact with the skeleton. Okay. So, so do I, I use the key? key. Alright, so, so this key unlocks a shop. We should have some good items. Or this key unlocks the chest. Which could also have a good item. But it takes a bomb and a key to open. Well, I feel like I'm gonna save my gold. So I can afford some of these longer lasting items. Alright. Um, that was not worth it. And now there's a side hidden room here. Fine, I have more keys. Alright. New key. Transmitter gen. Transform all relics in the room. Okay, so... If I don't like something, I can get it re-rolled. I should probably keep my health up. Alright. So uh, if we ever find another bomb, we know where to go. I'm gonna go check out that other locked door. Alright, good thing they're... They're made of tissue paper. Found a bomb bag. So that's three bombs. Alright, so... Check the skeletons before you smash them to pieces. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so now that means I can go back up here. And discover the secret passage. What's behind this? Okay, so there's some shrines here. Nothing's happening here. Okay, so this is not the secret. Alright, what can I do here? Okay, nothing happened. I almost killed myself here. Oh boy. Alright, I don't understand, but I think there's a doorway here. So, there's probably a puzzle here I don't... I can't grasp. Oh jeez, it's a shortcut. Alright, so this playthrough is pretty much a bust, is it? Alright, let's try getting as much gold as we can. Oh, these ones drop bombs now. Okay. Alright. Alright, there's probably something here we can use. the blacksmith. Oh hey friend, hey you. Enjoying the video so far? 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell as well. It really helps. Thank you so much. And now on with the show. Merlin, I'm the blacksmith. We're just down here picking some mushrooms when them those quakes gave the entrance in. Let's go, I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blessing me out of there. Go by my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll take you out in all the best gear I can also craft. Any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in that chest over there free of charge. Alright, you soon, pal. By the way, if you can afford it, I suggest buying that pickaxe on the rack over there. I did a fine job on that one. See you again soon. Uh, blueprint for Wayland's boots. Rock at the blacksmith. 30 pickaxe. Increase spring damage. Might as well. Although I don't think we're gonna survive this. So we should have probably just kept our money and went die somewhere. Alright, maybe I'll uh, surprise myself. Maybe I'll surprise myself. Leftovers. Find old roast food in chest. I don't, I don't think this buff will serve me well. I feel like this is probably just going to get me killed. Oh, that rotten sandwich sure looks tasty. Because I have 32 HP. And now I'm dead as a doornail. If a doornail can ever be dead, that is. Alright, I'm rambling. Let's go jump down even more. Hopefully we can get more gold before we expire. Alright, the skeleton seems... Okay, he chucks bones at you. And he killed me. Well, there goes the canary. And Jen has died, voted most likely to die in the mine. Alright, so we kept 65 gold. But now at least we got the blacksmith. This is probably not going to save us. Yeah, still can't afford this. Still can't afford this. Oh, it's my bud. You're a bit taller now. I mean, you're definitely not as colorful. Anyways, thanks for giving me a hand out of that cave. I cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. Send them out. All the finest quality, I promise. But if you buy something, I'll supply it to you and all your buds, you know. In case you, well, you know. Also, I can craft relics if you come across any blueprints in the mines. Read them my way. Alright, so this is a way to... Okay, so this is a way to permanently improve your adventures. So that means you can start the game with better items as you go along. Increased war range. Okay. So that's fair. So you can craft items. We craft relics for Torium. When a relic is crafted, you may use it on your next run. It will be lost when the present dies, but can be found again on subsequent runs. You may craft more than one relic at a time, but can only take the first on your next run. All crafted relics can be found on future runs. Okay. Alright, so... This is a way for you to start the game with a relic and make it spawn in the game afterwards. So these cannot be found at the moment until you craft them. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So there's ways to increase your strength as you go along. So you start the game being kind of a pushover. Or you can start 
being a little bit more powerful as time goes on. And I'm guessing you can drag these things and then get some form of checkpoint system. So this is starting to feel a lot like uh, Road Legacy in a way. Alright, so... I'm not sure which of those playthroughs I'm going to use. But... I feel like... I'm learning shit. Okay, so this one can't be defeated as easily. I wish there was a way to keep food in your sack, so you can use it when you lose health. And those health bars really help. So you do get permanent increase to your stats. Just have to... Die over and over again to get it. Alright, what is this? Aegis. Yes? Is that not an item? Increase defense at critical health. Okay, so... Right, why is this one of these a different color? Does that mean there's two other things on this level? I'll have to keep that in mind. Whoop. Thank you. Alright, keep your head open. Keep your eyes open, I mean. Head open. What kind of horror bullshit is this? Alright, I can still explore a bit. Let's make the most of it. Alright, what's well, in this one? Hopefully something good. Yeah, don't take my gold, you piece of garbage. So they give you a chance when they stand at the edge, but they're hard to catch, those fuckers. Alright, let's go down. I think we've pretty much seen everything we had through here. Don't see any shiny walls. So there's some useful stuff in these barrels sometimes. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, that went well. No shiny floors nowhere. But we're free to proceed. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Alright, so there's a... They tell you on the back what's in the locked door, so you can... ...ponder if the key is worth spending. So this seems like an artifact. Serious blood. Bombs explode in a slow shower of fire. Is that gonna be useful? I wonder. If Zelda taught me anything, is that sometimes there's shit in pots. So, better safe than sorry, I say. Alright, so these are buffs to your items. I mean, I have a bomb. I don't have a key. So, I'm gonna keep my bomb for when I have a key. At least this does not hit me. So well, that's some good damage. This one died almost immediately because of that. Alright, so 
the shop is down here. The way down is over here. Alright, let's say. Let's see, what do we have? I'll have a key. Alacrity, temporary increase attack speed. Oh no, you're not offering me anything I want here. Thank you, but no thank you. Alright. Let's grab the money. And get the fuck out. Wait, what? Wow, thank you, Mr. Thief. You opened the way up for me. Not gonna complain about that one. Ooh. And that, that seems dangerous. Lose less gold on debt. It's a blessing. Ooh, nice. So that means if I die on top of the new gold stack I have, I will lose even less. I wonder if I bomb the... What happens if I bomb the top part? Does that lead anywhere? No, I'm gonna check. It's only gonna cost me one bomb, but the knowledge will persist. Nope. It's just an empty hole. Speaking of holes. Alright. What's in this one? Gold mine level 3. Will we get to free the bomb smith? We still don't have any keys, so we're gonna have to come back at some point. Alright, so there's a shopkeeper in here. Alright, what do you have for sale here? A potion that transformed all relics in the room. No, I think I'm good. Thank you, but no thanks. Okay, so I probably need to bomb this. Yep. And the food is charred. The cooked food gives more health. Well, that's a. Uh, that's an interesting turn of events. And there's a secret place here. Let's go see what it gives. Oh god. I mean, do I catch on fire? Yeah, I catch on fire. So you can't put yourself out by jumping. Well, that's, uh, that's a shame. But I don't have any keys. So this is kind of a waste. Man, I need keys. I feel like there's a lot of cool things in those chests, but... Oh well. And what is this? Oh, rat mess. Okay, so if I don't delete that, they just keep spawning rats forever. Ooh, a key. Well then, don't mind if I do. Okay, hold on. Did I explore that other relic? No, I did not. So there's a relic in here. Guaranteed. So I'm gonna use the key for that instead. I feel like that's gonna be better. Alright, what is this? Butcher's cleaver. Sometimes what meat from your enemies. So that could be a great sustain relic. Because the more enemies you kill, the more meat you get. So that's kinda useful. Alright, here's this guy again. And, I mean, jokes on him. I have no... Yeah, I have no keys, so I can't do anything in that. It's probably the Mimic. So I can't really do much here. Alright. 
давайте ты чеса. Okay, so this is the mimic again. But this time we're gonna be ready for it. Oh no, he just poured the key. Alright, let me try something. I can jump over it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so you can jump over it. Quack, quack, don't try it. Why don't I jump at the same time? It's like I can't bring myself to do that. Okay, so jumping works, but you have to be careful. And I can't hit him. Come on, you piece of garbage. Jump in time. What? I got him. I got him. I got him. What the fuck is this? Special key. Prisoner key. Rare blueprint. Four leaf clover. Rare blueprint. Pin strand. Alright, so... Deleting bosses seems the way to go. But now I can go save the other guy. So let's go save him. Before we die a horrible death. Boy, thanks for the help, friend. Very glad to be out of that cage. I made it back up. Don't trust that wizard, but got nowhere else to go. Make sure to pay me a visit. I can upgrade those firecrackers you call bombs. Finally, some progress. So he's gonna be permanently available. I still don't have enough keys for that, though. Alright, so that was Undermine. On the... PC Game Pass. I wonder if this game is also available on the Xbox Game Pass. I feel like it should. This plays like a console game. Alright, so what do I think about this? So this is like World Legacy meets Binary of Isaac, in a way. I like it. It's a... It's a fun little jump and you always feel like even when you lose you do some progress. But you have to be in the mood for roguelikes. Because uh, dying and resetting all your progress is not for everyone. But if this is the type of games you enjoy, this is more for you to have. And who can say no to that? Anyway, that's my thought on Undermine. If you like those games, give it a try. If you have Game Pass, of course. If not, I think you could do better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe and like button. It really helps. And I will see you next time. Until then, remember, tomorrow is a new day. Anything is possible. Take care. Open mouth surgery or use jellyfish on the beach. Here we go. So.